changes in society and demographics lead to new social needs. To ensure the social service sector remains relevant and ready for future challenges, the National Council of Social Service NCSS, gathered stakeholders in the ecosystem in 2017 to develop a five-year strategic roadmap for the sector. The Social Service Sector Strategic Thrusts, or 4ST in short. One of the 4ST strategic thrusts was to empower individuals, families and communities to be more self-reliant and involved in developing solutions. When service users become empowered, they gain independence and can self-advocate. This helps contribute to a better quality of life for them. Singapore Anglican Community Services, or SACS, shared the same belief. Singapore Anglican Community Services offers a wide range of employment uh, support and services to our clients to develop their potential. We believe strongly in helping persons with mental health conditions uh, reintegrate back to the society through employment support. As counsellors, we journey with each and every one of our clients, um, really wanting to increase their self-awareness, first uh, in terms of their condition and also the symptoms. We want to encourage and also emphasise to our clients that they do have some level of power and control over their lives and they can take timely and effective action steps towards their own well-being and to sustain an employment. In addition to empowering those that the sector supports, it is essential to enhance the capabilities and capacities of social purpose entities or SPEs so that they can effectively and innovatively address the varied needs of society. In 2018, NCSS conducted the Social Service Sector Survey to gain insights into the organisational strengths and desired areas of improvement in the sector. Social service leaders believed human resource management was an important factor in making a social service agency or SSA effective. To address this, the People Practice Consultancy or PPC initiative was started in October 2016. Since then, it has supported over 100 SSAs through 227 consultancy projects, 96 HR workshops and clinics, and through addressing topical issues at capability circles. PPC has helped us to identify our areas of improvement uh, that we can work on. For example, the competitive uh, salary scale and also a more structured um, career pathway for our staff to consider whether they want to move to the specialist track or the management track. For the newly recruited staff, where they have not met any of us physically in office, we have exercises, talks and activities done virtually. PPC helps us to identify the gaps between the desired work culture and the current work culture. As a result of all these uh, initiatives, the staff engagement scores increased by 29% from 51% to 80%. By identifying these gaps, uh, we encourage the managers to actually work together with the staff to work towards the desired work culture. We managed to boost our staff morale and increase our staff retention, which actually eventually translates to our staff able to deliver better services to our clients. With increasingly complex societal needs, partnerships across the public, people and private sectors can bring about diverse resources, ideas and approaches that collectively address social issues. Shine Children and Youth Services has been working with partner agencies like Family Service Centres, the People's Association and grassroots organisations. And through this collective impact approach, stakeholders came together to address issues faced by children and youth from low-income families in the community. When we first entered the community in 2015, one thing that we realised is that probably we are working kind of like in silos, but in the same community together. Fast forward to 2018, the various stakeholders come together to sit down and discuss how we can support this community better. At the Swinner Clubhouse, the children were able to play in a supervised but non-institutional setting. The social workers used that opportunity to build relationships with the children. At the same time, they work and zoom in on the children's strengths and interests. Through these sessions, the children acted up less and were able to follow instructions. SHINE teamed up with the school to provide these children with additional support back in the community. This holistic support helped the children to manage themselves better in school as well as at home. 
Through multiple efforts undertaken by parties across the public, private and people sectors, the sector has progressed in empowering individuals, families and communities, enabling effective SPEs and building impactful partnerships across agencies to support those in need. Thank you to our valued partners for journeying with us. Your continuous support will enable us to build a stronger social service ecosystem and a more caring and inclusive society.